Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can. Ah, sorry, uh, wrong wrong channel. That's Iggy's karaoke channel. Um, welcome to another episode of Iggy's bodybuilding camp. Today's episode is going to be another workout video. Uh, similar to the last workout videos I've posted, which if you haven't seen, what the hell is wrong with you, go back and watch them. I will be showing you my... So I had a week off from training and I went back and I, had, I did a push workout and a pull workout, which left me in agonizing pain, good pain. So this is the second push workout that I did since then. Um, strength came back. I was suffering from some DOMS, um, which is delayed onset muscle soreness. In case you're wondering, and but but it didn't stop me from from training hard and training heavy. And in fact, this session felt really really good. Uh, so without much further ado, enjoy the episode. I'll do a voiceover, and I'll see you at the end. For this workout, I really focused on high volume. I did four sets of everything. First set was around 12 to 15 reps. Second set, where I would add a bit of weight, would be around the 10 rep range. Then I'd add a bit more weight and do the eight rep range. And then I'd do a final set where starting off from the eight rep range, I'd rep it out, drop the weight, rep it out, drop the weight, rep it out, drop the weight until I had no more weight left to drop. And that would be my high volume drop set finisher for every exercise that I, I did. And then you'll see for calves, I really sped it up. But this is basically an example of the drop set. So you can see I've got quite a heavy weight here. I, I drop the weight and you'll see me rep it out. And then I'll drop until almost, you know, you don't want to go to failure because then you won't be able to do the next set. But you, you want to leave a bit in the tank, but almost to failure. I'd say one or two reps away from failure. Then you rep it out again. Stop when you're one or two reps away from failure. Reduce the weight. Rep it out once more. You know, you're really, really trying to get a pump here. You're trying to tear those smaller fibers. So you rep until you can't. You're literally almost to failure. Take the weight off again until you're down to basically just one plate on each side and and that's it you really kind of it, it it's amazing uh for the pump and as always as i said for legs I, I love to do the walking lunges i do that with the bulgarian bag um i find it to be a really really good way of, of getting blood and, and feeling that pump no better way of, of getting a pump into your legs then i did again the same thing for the leg extensions and this is again a drop set so i rep it out reduce the weight rep it out you know this one I, I really really struggled towards the end you know this was the last set and a real and a killer the, the pump was insane uh, i think for the last couple of reps I, I just about got four out but and there you go limping away and then I moved on to uh, shoulders, uh, sorry, incline bench. So I've shown the uh, first set here. I haven't shown the drop set, just uh, one set, just to show you the technique, you know, making sure that I go deep, never really locking out so that you keep the contraction within the muscle and you also spare your joints. So avoid locking out, guys. Always keep a slight bend and always go as low as you can where it's comfortable. And then for the chest finisher, um, it was a, a bit of a flat bench. I did a drop set. So repped it out, reduced the weight, repped it out, reduced the weight. I was feeling this, you know, the pump in the chest was insane. And afterwards, you know, it, it, your, your chest feels like it, it's had air kind of pumped into it. But this, this is awesome. I love this machine, the hammer strength. It, it's really good for isolating the pec muscles. And really, really kind of giving it that, that concentration and focus. Great, great exercise for a pump at the end. I then moved on to the upright, uh, sorry, the shoulder press. Um, 
I've shown the first set and then I've shown the third set. So the lighter set and then I've shown the heavier set. I haven't shown the drop set here. Just to again show you the technique going low on the way down, not locking out on the way up, keeping as much tension as you can in the muscle. I mean, here you can see I'm, I'm really struggling because uh, I've, I've already you know, done two sets and I don't rest much between sets at all. You know, it's all about intensity. For me, my workouts are a combination of strength and cardio. You know, if you train with intensity, you will never have to do cardio. And I do zero cardio at the moment. I haven't done for ages and I managed to stay lean pretty much as long as I control my calorie intake and my nutrition. I don't have to do cardio. And I finished off with my favorite tricep exercise of them all, which is the behind the neck uh, tricep extension. It is just a fantastic exercise. It really works the long head of the tricep. You will guarantee to feel pain the next day with this if you do it right. You need to make sure that you keep your shoulders in, in a safe position because obviously they're, they're in a compromised position but keep your your arm up and parallel and next to your your ears and just drive up with your forearm and, and kind of with the palm of your hands driving upwards and i really really enjoy this exercise and i love the feel um of the pain the next day it's really you know, one of the, the best ones for tricep development and, and maximize that tricep growth, especially if you have lagging triceps. And the tricep finisher for me, which I always do, is the dips. Nothing hits the tricep, and, and I mean all three heads of the tricep, like the dip. So, you know, I did 15 reps just to kill it at the end. You know, I'd already done four sets uh, of the um, tricep extensions, and this was just a kind of bonus finisher, really, which felt felt really good. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to comment, like, share and subscribe. Keep living the life. Train hard. Be the best version of, you, of yourself that you can be. And uh, keep following the channel. And I will see you next time.